All right, so y'all voted. Y'all wanted me to give y'all five kinds of guys that women should avoid if they want monogamy. That's if you want a faithful monogamous relationship. Uh, for those who don't know what monogamous means, it just simply means that they are committed to that one person. They will not step out of the relationship. That's pretty simple. So without further ado, let's get into it. So guy number five, the first one on the list in fifth place is a guy who lacks accountability. The definition for accountability, for those who don't know, is the obligation or willingness to accept responsibility for one's actions. Now, how can you determine if he's a guy who lacks accountability? Simple. Ask him about his ex. And if all he tells you is that she was toxic, she was crazy, she did this, she did that, then that's the guy that lacks accountability. Because if he was with her for over a year, six months or so, I can guarantee you he did some things that weren't ideal. Right? And that's just how it goes. If you were with someone for th with over, over a year... And they were toxic. Chances are you were pretty toxic too because once you identify someone being toxic, you should be leaving. Guy number four. Now, I was kind of a little wary on doing this one, but I had to do it. Repeat jail offenders. Ladies, you cannot motivate someone who's been to jail 10 times in the last three months. Leave him alone. Number three, non-direct men. Simple as that. Men know typically what they want when they when they see a woman when they talk to her they typically we typically know what we want it doesn't take us long to identify that um so if he's not direct if he's not concise in his in his intention if he doesn't make that known he's probably not the one for you and you probably just need to leave it right there because you're going to end up doing a lot more work than it's worth and you'll end up frustrated heartbroken blaming all men for the decision you just made number two is if he has three or more different baby mamas now the reason for this is pretty simple Chances are, if he has three or more different baby mamas, he's in conflict with one of them. And if he's in conflict with one of them, you and him, have, you and him having a successful monogamous relationship is going to be really difficult. Super difficult. And you have to keep that in mind. Do you, do you want to bring on that kind of trouble for yourself? Also, typically, you have the Nick Cannons of the world where they can have a bunch of kids and they can financially take care of them. And then you have what I call the hump and dump athletes. And the hump and dump athletes are the guys who are just shooting up every club, getting as many women pregnant as possible, and they can't afford to take, none, take care of none of them. For number one, first, I need to do this. Ladies, do this with me. Act like y'all got a cheap wig on and your braids starting to itch, right? Because I need y'all to knock this perfect man. I need y'all to knock him out your head. I need him to get, I need him out your head. I need him as far away from your brain as possible. Listen, that six foot two shredded guy, six pack abs, who reads poetry, does backflips, does handstands, will take you and your seven kids on, rub your head, rub your back, rub your feet with the uh, with a nine-inch eggplant, don't exist. He don't exist. I never met this guy. Listen, I've been to four different countries. I play football in multiple countries. I've been to most of the states in the U.S. I've been in college. I've got bachelor's degrees. i got a master's degree. That perfect guy that some of y'all looking for, he don't exist. And that ideal of a perfect man is part of the reason why some of you ignore the really good men who are right in front of you. So you guys got to get rid of that ideal. You have to. He does not exist. Disney, I love Disney. Disney lied to y'all. Because he ain't, that, that guy don't exist. So just tap the back of that head, right? Hopefully he falls off the front and then you step on him because he ain't there. Because there's a lot of great men out here who you guys overlook who are right in front of you who are within reach. And you guys got this idea of this perfect guy. And that is, is skewing your ideals of what an average man looks like. Or what a good guy looks like. Now, ladies, in all fairness, I gave you guys a list. So that means tomorrow morning, I have to give the fellas a list. 